Quaswex is insane this game when you look at it. It's really great against Necrophos. I've seen it a couple times in the group stage. It worked very, very well. Ninja Boogie is basically just functioning as a wall, right? This is what you do as the sun flies out. Here comes the Beatles. They're going to have to try and remove those Beatles. Ushi's not actually helping him out right now. Ninja Boogie oh, has so much minus armor. He's going to try and soul rip himself to be able to save, but the Beatle is still on him. He does have the... Uh... Higher levels of Soul Rip. Bottom lane, they are going to be able to get the Brambles onto Roger, and Roger's just getting eaten apart here. The big crit comes out from Ice 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 early, and it does manage to take the Dream Protector down. With your Dragon Form, collapse onto the tower. That's why VP, I think, has gone for this tree. You have the ability to just protect the tower against the DK, force rotations, force over commitments as Ice 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 is going to go down the first time. VP, let's see if they set up again. Jab's gonna try and intercept here, but he just gets beaten down so quickly. Ramses with all that physical damage. Every single time Moon goes somewhere, he's trailing him. Yeah. He wants to be able to protect his mid tower. He wants to be able to protect his side lane towers. Oh, nice tornado EMP onto the neck post. Mushi's gonna get popped here. Soul Rip actually does buy him a little bit more time, but he's just surrounded by so many heroes. Pasha is able to get that killing spree. Moon's gonna go for it. Ice 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 coming in from behind. He's gonna be able to get the stun onto Roger. Now Moon's a little slow to follow that one up, but we'll be here in time for the breathe fire. The living armor's actually keeping him alive until the last couple of shots come in. Ice 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 slowed down for the cold snap, hit by the EMP. He's already dead. And Moon, he's gonna be swapped back into the tier one tower right next to Rams. Then terrorize. Gonna terrorize. Might just be able to save him alongside that soul rip. That might just be able to do it. Ninja Boogie gets a little low, so does Moon, but the Weaver, Pasha, was super scared of going for it, as he should be. They control the Brambles, almost got him killed. Well, have to give up on the Tombstone and give up on the Tier 1 Tower push as well, it seems. As maybe even Mushi's gonna die here, gets a little bit of heal on himself. Soul Rip as well, it's not quite enough. Free Fire comes out, Suntory's gonna miss, they turn around, Reaper Psyche gets the kill, but dies in the process. Running around a little bit aimlessly because they're probably in a similar position as Ramses. Gonna get dusted up, jabs. Jabs. Has the follow-up. Needs to be able to land the Brambles here, and he does. The first round follow-up. They're going to be able to get a lot of match damage on him with the Bedlam. Poss is trying to tank it up, but gives up on it in the end. The Overgrowth, they're going to try and focus on the Tombstone. Nice All the three man. Man. Into the EMP, that's going to burn everybody up. Dark Will is already dead. Moon has no mana to be able to work with. Can he TP away? Pasha is going to try and hunt him down, but he does have a lot of armor. It's going to tough kill to be able to get, but they slow him down, and it looks like Moon pops the mana. Does manage to get the Shadow Blade off, fortunately, solo on the spot with the Sentry. Pasha gets a mega kill streak. Things are slightly tilting their way. They do have uh, a couple different forms of hard initiation for Mineski that was missing earlier. Ice, ice, ice. No he one's going to get run into. He's going to be able to jump in the back lines. Moon is going to have a hard problem with Pasha, but at the same time, a beautiful tornado comes in. Stops a lot of jab damage. Almost able to finish up no one, but can't quite do it. No one. Ice, ice, ice. Actually going to go for the blink in a second here. The man to get the Reaper Scythe on him. That is a big time kill. And now they can turn towards the tree protector. Take him out. No more living armor to be able to worry about. Mineski has controlled the mid lane and should be able to take the mid tower finally. Seems like they're just a bit too afraid of overextending themselves like they saw Virtus Pro just do. So it's just going to keep in pace here with Ninja Boogie to make sure he gets the magic missile as soon as the rest of his heroes are here. Ninja Boogie just separated from his team a bit too much. They go for the three-man smoke rotation up to the top lane now. A lot of pings being sent out. They do have a scan on the necropulse on the side here. So they are going to be able to get that three-man smoke onto the two supports, though. They found the tree protector. He's not going to be able to get away, and it looks like Jabs will deal with Solo pretty easily. Solo does manage to get a bit distance, and he knows he's just prolonging the inevitable here. will eventually die. And this would be such a clutch gank if they managed to kill him twice here. They know that people are in their own jungle. Oh, they're going to let Ramses maybe run into Oh, them. this is so smart. At the perfect time, they're going to be able to get the sentry instant stun. Life one. Ramses lived a little bit longer than expected, but now life two. You need two. to drop the tombstone. It's going to be up to no one to hit the big tornado to be able to save him. They managed to get the swap back and terrorize. Oh, the three in the back line. That's a beautiful play from Jazz. The tombstone will finally go down from Pasha, but Chaos reigns, and it looks like it's going to be Mineski who's taking it. Ramses barely getting away. Up at the century, cut down by the Reaper's side. Roger's going to be up next with the cursed ground. No one trying to protect him. A big meteor comes in, but he's not an extort invoker, so that does very little damage whatsoever. Train protector's down. Pasha's going to come in with the defuser blade. They do manage to get the magic missile. They're focusing on the tankiest hero of all, though, and now the support army dead. Bedlam coming back up from Jazz. Takes the opposing support, but finally they do manage to finish off Boone. So Mushi and Jazz will limp away from Pasha, a bit scared. Mushi, nice tornado there from Noah. So it looks like they are going to be able to get the extra hero kills. The Fusiblade slowed down, and Mushi falls. A triple kill for Pasha.
But I, I mean, I can't help but feeling like these the, the double BKB pick up now for this for LDR. Going to come in, trying to go on to Bushi first. A beautiful overgrowth out from Roger. Snuck in from the side. Will be able to control the two supports. Ninja Boogie's already gone. The first crown does manage to stun up. They actually spot up a tombstone. They're going to reveal it with a sun strike so Pasha can focus it down. Slowing down Bushi with the defuse flame. Swap back. Terrorize. It's going to come in with the BKB activated by Ramses means that he is not deterred whatsoever from his prey. He will be able to bring down Mushi and take the tier 2 tower. And Moon didn't even respond to that. Yeah, Don't be afraid to go for the team fight. Your team is still really strong, especially once you get on top of uh, VP's heroes. Now it might be a little bit too late because of the BKBs, but VP committing for this. They're all here. Sentry's been dropped. Gotta be careful to swap. Clutch Lotus Orb timings can protect you from that. Yeah, you got the Aghanim Scepter now on the Invoker. I think for VP, Oof. now it's go time as Ramsey's holding Ramsey's. this high ground area. With that double damage, he's gonna go straight three shots. Ninja Boogie instantly gets sent up with a Dragonite over the Terrorize coming in. They do have really good control of them running into the Brambles. Moon pops his BKB, but his damage, it just doesn't look great. Now Ramsey's gonna be able to pop his BKB in turn. So, very beautiful overgrowth there from Roger in the back lines. Does manage to control up all these heroes. Ramsey's focus down. Moon turns, finish up Ice 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 as well, who does still have the reincarnation, but again, he just doesn't really have a whole lot of damage to back it up because the rest of the team is being forced farther and farther back. Pasha just keeps on pushing Mushi farther away with the defuse. The blade. He takes away all of his team, and now Ice 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 is going to die a second time. Maneski ripped apart by Virtus Pro and executed one by one. Yeah, no reincarnation, no terrorize. Virtus Pro, they're going to let Pasha do the work here. And they're going to look again. for the swap. Solo posturing up, trying to move forward. Managed to get a four staff in, but no fall off disables. Now Moon does manage to get the Reaper Scythe coming down, and does manage to finish him off. That is a big kill. Maneski needed that to be able to hold this high ground. Solo in the middle of it. He's going to be next one down. Ramses, as well as no one, trying to back away. Maneski on the hunt, though. They really need these kills. They do manage to get the dust. Ramses is a bit slowed down. Moon the stun. Does manage to get the stun. Follow up, first crown. And it looks like it is going to be Ramses down as well. What a That's a gem. Maneski. Pro with an Aegis feeling confident are going to split up a little bit. And they've got the gem. They might just run into no one here. This would be a huge pickoff. He doesn't have BKB. He throws out the tornado as well. They're going to be able to find him leading up. Got the instant sun. Moon lands it with the dragon tail. That's going to be no one dead for 90 seconds. And what a game this has turned into is now VP even with the Aegis. You most likely have to blow the buyback, but you have to start the fight first. Where's the swap? Oh, Here it is. Back into the instant side of the vice. Ramses as well as Pasha. Gonna try and beat him down with the double damage on a Pasha. They may look pretty easy, but now it's gonna be Ninja Boogie. Caught in as well. Really good terrorize out. They just need to try and get out. They force the buyback out. No one. Mineski have done their job, even if they get two heroes picked off. As long as the rest can escape, there is both the Vlads as well as an extra 15% vengeance aura damage out of that vengeful spirit. That is pretty big, just because you can't really take the Vengeful Spirit out of these fights. Even if she dies, she comes back with her Vengeful uh, Spirit, and she's still giving this massive amount of armor aura as well as damage to everybody. You see what uh, Pasha did, by the way? He switches build completely. Instead oh. of finishing the Nullifier, he in fact just goes through the Aghanim Scepter, and I think that's going to change the way that he plays. He wants to just sit behind people as solo. Going to get run into here. He swaps in Roger. He gets the blink off. That was beautiful. Great teamwork there. Mushi, they're going to need to try and take the bug off him, tornadoed in the air. How do you take this fight? DP, both teams Angles moving forward here. They got the side device onto the Dark Will. They need to be able to take out this big team fight, but too much heal comes out. He does manage to get the shot from up. Ramses, he's, he's gone. Ramses, he's already dead. Pasha pops his BKB and runs away with Max Shikuchi. Mushi, running forward on these heroes. Does manage to get the Shivas. Nice tornado turnaround, though, with the Ice Wall on top of the two of them. Cataclysm out. A lot of it dodge, turn around, stun onto the Weaver, but they want to be able to finish up this solo. Eventual Spirit is the easy hero to pick off. Finally, the Dark Will does die. The Aghanim Scepter from Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 spots Pasha for a moment, and Terrorize comes in a little bit too late. They already got the BKB up, but Moon, he is super tanky. Rams is having a hard time being able to bring him down. His Back BKB's down. The pot, the Dragon Knight, and turn and fight him. That's why Rams has got to back up. So instead, they're just going to be able to turn, see if they can finish off that Ventral Spirit while backing away from the Invoker. He managed to get a really good Deafening Blast, holding him in with the Overgrowth as well, focusing on the Tombstone. And now all these heroes caught in the Ice Wall with no BKBs coming in from behind the Reaper Scythe. Not good enough to be able to catch Roger in, but Jeff will be able to finish up at least that clicks. He immediately buys back, though. Looking for the TP 
be in. Ice 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 battling alone next to Jeff. You're gonna die soon. The Wraith King Aghanim Scepter is allowing the Jew a lot of damage to Pasha, but he still at the time lapse out, so that leaves Moon all by himself, surrounded by too many heroes. Wushi comes in, gives a little bit of death pulls without cutting up. A little bit more. Pasha is able to run down now. Wushi's surrounded by oh, Wushi's gone. Wushi. He tried to come in and bail out his heroes. The Ghost Shot's gonna be able to buy him a bit more time. The Solar gives a big time heal, and Virtus Bro, now that there's reinforcements from Mineski, they'll back up. A big deafening blast. He sees Wushi is low on the side and wants to be able to hunt him down. Going down He's the gone. Heroes, and Wushi's dead. Down for two minutes, nine seconds on Moon. Ice 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 coming up next. He does have the reincarnation, but yeah, he'll die. Just focus down for this one every single time by Ramsey. It is only Ice Ice Ice, and now it's going to be the Undying Cod as well. Ninja Boogie, Bernice Pro. One big fight is all they needed, and they'll be able to take down Mineski. Not once, but twice in a big team fight in the mid lane. Finishing up with Ice Ice Ice. No buybacks on Mineski. And that will be Votus Pro marching down the lane, pushing into the tier fours, and taking game number one. They just outplayed Maneski in that last team fight. Yeah, especially near the end. They came online at the right times. The ability to constantly get the Aegis, the Roshan for free. Who are afraid of going against Ulsa, right? And then throws one of the heroes that can do really well against it. Oh, that man. the crowd will not do that. That I can <laughs> guarantee. But you can also think we're two we're still two games away from just getting out of this. We can knock out the favorites. You needed two wins anyways. Ninja this Boogie, is where it starts. Ice, ice, ice. They, they plant a trap. They're going to be able to come in from behind and catch Solo. And that could be your first blood. It's Ice Ice Ice. Just needs to be able to get another swing in. But Solo, he may have regened up too much. He's going to be able to eat through the trees. You got to juke the other stun. Stuns. He managed to juke up the stun for a second, but it's still going to be found. That'll be your first blood. The bounty room, though. What's really annoying about him is that you sort of have to think of him as a melee hero just because oh, oh, that thought he's gone. Oh, too close. He was searching for the ward, and no one jumps on him. It could be a second death for Moon in a lane that's going hard. Here comes that pressure block with the strafe activated. Moon tries to run away, but no one's attack range. There's just no rotation. Boss to die is boss. Yeah, Storm right now is just a liability. Maybe with a level 6, he can actually kill Ramsey super low. No one is nearby. Ramsey's popsy in rage. That buys him a little bit more time. Moon's going to commit more and more. Now he's going to be low on mana. They turn with the help of no one. They baited Moon in and will be able to get the kill while Ramsey's still survives. He's gonna have the first crown placed on him. Now he can enrage it. Chooses not to. Now they get the magic missile and just blow him up real quickly. Ramses didn't expect that, but fortunately, the stun fades. He gets the enrage. Oh, man. He'll be able to get away. Bottom lane. Ice, ice, ice. Managed to get the skeletons out with a Wraith Fire Blast onto Solo. It's gonna try and trade out one for one, but he's just not gonna be able to do it. The damage doesn't happen fast enough, and that's gonna be intelligence lost. Man of heavy commitment. This time around, he gets the kill and gets out, though. Jabs. Running in, Pasha, thinking about the black hole, does throw it down. Oh, he's be covered in it. Not really going to be able to get away. As the Shadow Realm fell, he fades. He will be able to get the oh, one hit. damage, and one last shot is going to be enough. And we've heard so many pros and analysts talk about how the laning phase is all important. So. Yes. Mineski will be able to get a pickoff here. The Terrorize goes out, and the Eidolons fade out, which means Jabs can get some damage out with the Bedlam, but the Earthshaker Fisher actually allows them to be able to separate a little bit. They do get the swap back from Ninja Boogie, but they have no real damage. The Troll gives up on that kill, and it's going to be Ninja Boogie brought low by the Malefist. They just didn't bring enough heroes there. And look at no one. He's hunting Mushi. He's got a Deso. Ninja Boogie, 15-minute bounty runes. Ninja Boogie willing to fight for this one. He is going to pick it up, but it looks like it's going to cost him his life. His last word takes another two intelligence for Solo. This time around, though, with so many deaths on his side, his top lane, Mushi, the most farmed hero on his team, going to go down for free. Slow is all that's needed for no one to be able to claim that kill. Jabs and Moon. He managed to find Roger. That's a pretty important kill. He's gonna he's got one to lay in a little bit, but it looks like Moon is gonna be able to get that kill. Pasha jumped in, wasn't able to get the big black hole on a two, so instead he'll take the Malifus kill on Jabs. It'll be the point where they put their stamp on this game, unless Mineski can get a big smoke gank and smoke pops. They don't have any detection. And Are they going to jump in? The Terrorize is going to be able to come in, grab some of those heroes. Echo Slam immediately comes out, and the follow-up, they manage to get the stun onto the Storm Spirit. Enchant Totem hit as well. Man, Moon has got to be able to get out of here with the BKB. Pasha, he's, he's got, got the hole. Black hole locked in, managed to get the swap in. Big time hit, managed to get a bash onto that Kling, slowing him down a little bit. Troll, he's being able to control him up, but finally managed to get away with the invisibility. And again, they just don't have the vision. Moon, she's going to take out from the last word. Moon has no HP and only a little bit of mana, but it looks like Mineski is still in one fight, and they're going to be to find a fourth hero in this. Roger blinks away right before the wave of terror. He's just popping the shrine. No one. He sees him. With the Fisher. No one just by himself. He didn't even need the Fisher to claim the kill.
recovers that team fight just a bit. They kill both of the big cores of Mineski. And now, with that damage, a lot more pickoffs. The threat eliminated. They only see squishy supports. Ice 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 tries to come in, immediately dies. They do have this Dark Willow with the Bedlam. Might be able to kill the Glinks, but Roger hits a beautiful stun. They see him for a moment, but the Shadow Realm has already faded. So instead, they're going to have to try and get the kill on Roger. Look at Virtus Pro's side, and they just get tons of items. BKB. Don't give up this Roshan. As well as Pasha. Don't give up this Roshan. You gave up so many in a row last game. This has to be like the fifth Roshan this in this series. This combination is so good. They do manage to jump in with Ice Ice Ice. He has Reincarnation as well as Blade Mel. So he's making himself a target, making so... Whoa, Jabs, he just managed to blink in, goes for the Bedlam, almost killing Solo. He wants to be able to take out this Global Silence, but he does so, but trades away his life. No one finished off that Reincarnation. Rams is going to jump in, going for Mushi, the long jump in for Moon. But he's delivering... Oh, the Echo Whips! Away from the Echo Flame, now the Black Hole, locking down the Vengeful Spirit, who managed to get the swap away onto Mushi. Oh, Moon. Roger's gone. Hit by this one. They do manage to take down Roger, but here comes no one in Ramses. Can Moon actually... Here's the sandwich. No mana whatsoever. Ice 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 doesn't have a second life either. The Blade Mail will not stop no one from claiming that life. A little bit curious, and now they kind of have to reset. Ramses is going to go for the fast kill with the Enrage. They do manage to spot it up, but it's a bit too late for Moon to try and jump in. Now Ice 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 is going to be spotted. He slowed down by the Malphite. Doesn't have his ult. Doesn't have his ult. Man, it was just coming up. Roger comes in with a Fisher BKB. Activated the man to get the bash from Ramses under the troll. He's going to turn and fight Ramses, take away that Aegis. And at the same time, they did manage to finish up the Enigma Bushi trying to track down Roger. Meanwhile, Ramses, magic missile up. No one's going to help him take down Ninja Bogey. The Terrorize comes in. Does manage to get the clinks. He just took away with that death pack. He has no HP. With the Bedlam, they almost keep punched off the chief and BKB. He turns, kills the support. Now Moon, he's got to get out of here. He is on 700. He's got mashed up. He's got mashed up. He's got mashed up. He has to jump away for HP. Is that what he's going to live on? Ramses is so close. The silence. The silence. Oh, he can't jump away. Ramses wipes the rest of Mineski. Soon. It's Pasha. Stepping forward for half a second. Mushi still holds that position from behind everybody. They're and they're going to run into each other. Not to be able to communicate. They do manage to get the swap back. And this, the Dark Will is already dead. But at the same time, Hosh is gone. Got cleaned up by Mushi so quickly. Ice 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 with the second life. Ramsey pops his BKB and he just fights and turns. Kills Mushi. Now they're going to be able to catch Ice 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 from the second life as well. Maneski just caught out on all sides. The initiation on the Ice 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 forces Maneski into action. Moon going to try to wait for some reinforcements. Mineski. Towards the second set. set. They were the last. Oh no! The Abyss oh, no. The Abyss play. No! He does have a buyback. They're going to be forced into it now. They're going to try and get the long jump in onto Roger. Pop in before he can do anything. And he managed to get the damage onto Ramsey. Prevents him from being able to blink away. They need this kill badly, but he can't get back. He managed to get the old scepter off and gets away. That was so close. 10 seconds without the Ursa. They're really trying to force a fight on that. They're going to jump for Pasha. BKB activated. He turns, gets away with the Glimmer Cake. Moon forced to use a BKB of his own there, and he's pretty low on mana. No one hopes to be able to catch him. He's going to find the angle. He's out. got no buyback. The Spear with the Global Sound. There's going to be no swap to be able to save him. That's a dieback. Beyond godlike for no one. And they're holding this high ground area. Maybe they're thinking about taking this fight. They know they can't just let allow VP into their base. Maybe no one is going to come. A desperation hold. A perfect opportunity. They already got the sight up as well as the BKB. Furry Pro, they're just too damn fast. Roger locks down another one with the Echo Slam. Catches two. That's going to be the Dark Willow. Ice, ice, ice. The last man standing for... Oh, look at it. Just give him the preemptive black hole. Give Vineski no way out of this game. Two of them. Vernon's Pro will move on. First test, they pass with flying colors. No one ending that game 14 0 and 8. This man is not ready to go home. The brackets just not working to the favor of Southeast Asia as Mineski had to take out TNC to get here. Now will also be eliminated. So we say goodbye to them. Virtus Pro, though. I mean, they came into this, they were like the tournament favorite. So many people. Virtus Pro was so dominant all year long that everybody favored VP to be one of the top three teams here at this TI.